Oh god. Are you recording? Yes. Yeah. Yes! Okay. <clears throat> hey guys! It's Emma! Oh my god! Ah! Ah, sorry. Me! Oh my god, I'm back! Hallelujah! Yay! I'm doing a video. This is the second time I'm recording this because stuff did not work out in the beginning. I'm like, oh my god, girl. So! How are you doing, guys? I missed you. Um, I'm doing a video today. No kidding. <laughs> wow, I'm stupid. Today, I thought that I would make a video for you guys, and that video today, I am going to be doing a very, very important video, in my opinion, and that is pet peeves. I feel like ranting about things that just get on my nerves because I, I absolutely love watching these. They just really make me giggle because I'm just sit back, relax, you know, get some popcorn, get your uh, fruit roll ups, I don't know, whatever you guys like to munch on. Um, and let's just enjoy this video of me ranting about my problems. The first thing that just really vexes me would probably have to be when people take forever to answer my texts or leave me on red. Now, I know I am actually a hypocrite, very much so. I do this quite often to a lot of my friends. I sound like such a freaking little chicken nugget right now. But I cannot stand it when people do this to me. When we are talking and we're having a conversation, I do not need you to take literally forever to respond. I'm having a conversation with you. I do not want you to just leave me hanging, you know? And I do not, I definitely do not want you to just read my stuff and just not reply. It's as simple as that. Just, just don't do it and we won't have any problems. And yes, like I said, I know I do this, so I'm sorry. The second pet peeve that I have for you today is when people drive way too freaking slow so let me elaborate on this not just when people drive slow when people drive slow and they're in front of me if we're on a road and the speed limit is 45 miles an hour I usually do five miles an hour over the speed limit because, you know, living on the fast lane, no, I'm kidding. But, um, yeah, I like to do a little bit over the speed limit sometimes because that's just how I roll. But I do not need your slow butt in front of me going freaking five miles an hour. I don't even know, like, being a literal grandparent and just pretending you're in a parade or something and you're driving in front of me being slow. Like, how about you get in the next lane? Maybe speed up a bit. It's not that bad, okay? Like, it's not scary to drive a little bit fast, you know? I mean, I, I understand driving fast is a little bit scary, puts you on edge, but it's not that bad. So if you could just move along, that would be pretty great. The next pet peeve kind of correlates with my last one. It has to do with driving and going the appropriate amount of speed limit. So this one is when I am driving. And I am doing the appropriate speed limit, 5 miles an hour over. And my dad, he sits right next to me when I drive. And he has the audacity to say, Slow down! All the time! He does this to me so much, and if, Father, if you're watching this, you know I don't like this. It just really ruffles my feathers. When I am just, I'm cruising down the road, I am doing, I'm minding my own business, I'm doing five over the speed limit, and you just have the audacity to come at me and say, slow down, you're going way too fast. Boy, I'm not going that fast. I really don't. I never speed. 
I, I'm not Mario Ferrari. I'm, I, I'm a good child. I don't speed. I just do five over the speed limit and I go about my day. Pet peeve would have to be pet peeve. I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate that have braces. But I cannot stand it when food gets stuck in my braces when I'm eating something. Like, I just want to enjoy my meal and not have everything just be stuck. Like, I do not want to dig for treasure. I do not want to get everything out. I want to eat my food and just, you know, not have to deal with having things stuck everywhere in my teeth thing that really just bothers me is when my hair falls out just all over the place. Sometimes when I'm just chilling, just, you know, minding my own business, my hair just, I, you know, it just, it comes out. I just brush my fingers through my hair and it just, it comes out in just little strands and it just comes out. I know you're supposed to shed your hair or else you will look like a marshmallow like an actual like yeah like the Lorax basically but I don't need this kind of pressure to have all of my hair fall out and then I don't since I'm a gross person I don't dispose of my hair I put it on the floor I just fling it on the floor and then I have to vacuum it all up I still need to vacuum in my room, but I'm lazy, so I haven't done it yet. But it's just like, I wouldn't have to deal with this if my hair just would just stay on my head sometimes. Like, okay, like when I brush it, yeah, you can fall out, but just really? Another pet peeve of mine, I'm pretty sure all my ladies can relate to this one, I think. But when you have a full face of makeup on, foundation, concealer, everything, highlight, everything looks great. And it's sunny outside and you need to put sunglasses on because my if I don't put on sunglasses and it's bright as freaking hell literally as hellfire my eyes will burn out of their sockets so I would like to wear my sunglasses and not have any problems but I can't do that because whenever I put on any sort of eyewear I get little freaking smudges on the bridge of my nose from where the nose pieces of the glasses sat on my nose. And it makes a smudge and it's just like, it's there and you can see it and I'm just like, really? And finally, this is the last one I promise you, my final pet peeve for today is when people sneeze into their hands. I have hated this for as long as I can remember and I still hate it. I know it kind of sounds pretty rude because some people just can't help it. But have you ever just really thought about it? Like you are sneezing and putting all of your nose insides on your hand. Like, really? That is so disgusting to me. Like, do you really think... You could just, you could sneeze into your, your sleeve, your arm, your, your, uh, you could sneeze out the window if you're driving. You could sneeze into the air if there's no one around you. You could find a napkin. You could sneeze into your shirt. But no, you have to sneeze into your hands. And then after that, if you don't have a napkin or anything to wipe your hand off, you just wipe it on you. And then if you don't wipe it off, you go and touch things with your nasty freaking hand that you sneezed into. Stop it. Just. <sighs> this one just. No. Absolutely not. If you do this, I'm sorry if I've offended you, but you, you really need to stop doing that. It just It's disgusting, please. <sighs> so, yes, that's it, guys. That are, that are, English, please. Those are my pet peeves for you guys today. And I have so many more pet peeves. 
I just, I'm, I'm a very agitated person. I get very annoyed very easily. So if you would like me to make a part two to this, then just give me a comment below, like this video, let me know, and I will gladly do another. But anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. I know it's new and I'm trying something out. I want to do YouTube again. I'm going to do videos like this. I'm, I'm sorry. If this doesn't tickle your pickle, then you can, you can leave. I'm sorry, but I hope that someone will enjoy this. Anyways, guys, um, I will see you in my next video, which will be out very soon, I promise, because I have so many ideas. I'm just exploding with ideas, like, I'm just like, oh my god, it's so insane. Yeah, um, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.